one no i'm just kidding dude. yeah yeah no i know yeah it's, it's going pretty good dude i can't complain you know good good yeah Does she feel the same i think so it's kind of hard to tell but i think she's into it i mean it's hard not to be right dude i'm happy for you man i mean <laughs> you know 100 times the charm <laughs> you're not wrong you're not yeah. wrong yeah i don't know it's going pretty good dude i think this is actually a the one that might work out. We'll see what the fuck is that. Hmm? Got some weird message popped up. Don't click that shit, dude. You're gonna fry your shit. I don't know. I think I got pretty good, like, spamware or whatever on this shit. It says unknown, though, dude. I don't know. What do you think? Don't, don't click that yeah, shit, but, dude. dude. it's a video. It's not just, like, a weird message. Definitely don't click that shit. You're gonna junk up your computer. Uh, I'm gonna click it. Here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, yeah, you can it. Let's see what happens. Hey everyone, and welcome to my vlog where you get to follow me around on my crazy life and join me on my crazy adventures. If you're not already doing it, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Just had brunch. Now we are going thrifting. Lots of, lots of chairs. In the thrift store now. Some cute teacups. And some really creepy dolls. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited for two reasons. One, I finally hit 400 subscribers. Thank you all so, so much for your love and support. I'm looking forward to hitting five and beyond. Also, I'm excited because tonight is girls night. I have some friends coming over. I haven't seen them in forever, but I absolutely love these girls. Bonus reason I'm excited. When thrifting, got this. How freaking cute. Can't wait to drink tea out of this. But yeah, girls night is tonight. We're gonna have some wine, have some girl time. Really excited. All right, Sydney just texted me that she's here. Hey, Sydney! Come on up! Sydney is here! Hey. Hello, hello! You're still doing the YouTube thing? I'm still doing the YouTube oh, thing. That's awesome. I know, I just hit 400 subscribers actually, oh, so I'm damn. really excited. Yeah, I'm doing great. Oh, this is good? Oh, I'm so sure it is. It's red. I'm happy. Come on in. This is the place. It's so big. Yeah, I got my so living room, kitchen. Oh, so nice. Yeah, the reading area, bedroom back here. I'm loving the new place. Come on, sit. Let's catch up. Yeah, it's been forever. Yeah, how's it been with you? <sighs> it's been. It's been? So, how do you like the new place? Love it. Love it. Great area. There's like food everywhere, shopping. We went to brunch this morning. We had some really good biscuits. They were so good. Got mimosas. They gave me two. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that must be joy. Joy! Hello! Oh my God, how's Welcome! It going? It's going how's good! It going? Um, I hope you don't mind, I brought my cousin Sierra with me. Hi That's Sierra, okay. that is totally uh, fine. For the wine night. That looks interesting, come on in ladies. Hey! How's it going? Good, long how time you see. And uh, this is my cousin Sierra. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. So like, what's with the camera? Oh, I am a YouTube vlogger. I have my own channel. I just hit 400 subscribers. 400,000? 400. Oh, cool. It's very exciting. Yeah. 
What about you? Are you seeing anyone? No, you know how it is out there, girl. Like, yeah. Yeah, boys suck. It's probably so. Oh, yeah. That's when trouble happens. Yeah, I know I made out with the my little situation shit, but I think I made out with his friend too. Oh, oh my god. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Anyone else have any embarrassing drinking oh, stories? I have too many, but I'm not gonna share. You have to. <laughs> yeah, you have to share. <laughs> Come on, Come on you got it. one. Hmm. I mean, I blacked out that one time at Halloween, but I mean, I can't even remember it, so maybe it wasn't embarrassing. Maybe it was. Like, I don't know. So. Thankfully, no one was vlogging that night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad all the times I blacked out, that was before people had cell phones. Thank God. Yeah. Like, our parents' generation was so lucky. Like, yeah. no one right. saw the shit they do. Right. Yeah. No record of anything. That's yeah. how they can act like they're so perfect all the time. Um, Same exactly, point. yeah. Oh no, I do have to drink my wine. Oh my god. <laughs> I need more wine. Get started. Yeah, yeah guys. Joy looks... doesn't want to share any of her stories. I feel like we gotta make our own. Yeah, we're That's like true. almost out, guys. We're gonna. Oh, we barely had any. Right. Yeah. I can't I'm... believe we're. Oh my god. It's so early in the night. I know, it's so light outside. <laughs> <laughs> we need, right, we yeah. need more alcohol. Yeah, I'm not drunk at all. Wait, didn't you say you brought something? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You uh, have something, don't you? I don't really know what it tastes like, but it's what my grandma's favorite that? and it gets her wasted, so... Wasted sounds good to me! That's the vibe of the night, right? Uh, yeah! I don't know how this is gonna taste, but I mean... It looks really... Oh, that's a generous pour! Oh my goodness! I mean, it's girls night! You know, it could be pineapple, it could be pea, it could be anything! <laughs> There's such jitters pores. Oh my god. Listen, we have nowhere to be tomorrow, right? Yeah, that's we true. Are cheers, right? It's cheers girls' night. Have a good cheers. night. Cheers. Woo! Woo. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god. Oh, disgusting. Oh. What is that? Oh. Maybe it's old. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Where the heck did you get that? My grandma had bottles of this shit. I mean, it was her favorite drink. Dude, crap. A few weeks ago, could have been good with this. <laughs> Wait, what? What the fuck was that? I have no clue. There was no one there. Oh my god! Yo, I'm freaked out. I want to go. I don't know. It's fine, guys. Just sit down, relax. It's totally fine. Something's going. I want to go. It, it's go. fine. It's fine. Like it's totally fine. Wait. Oh my god, Sierra. What? Your nose. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to go home. I'm freaked out. I I need to go home. No, don't, don't go home. It's okay. Stay here. It's it's fine. Oh my Something. Holy crap! It's not stop. I feel I feel kind of weird. What the heck, Sydney? What? Sydney? Oh, maybe she went home. She probably went home. No, I told her not to leave. She... Oh, where'd she go? Guys, I feel really weird. But you know, all this weird shit started happening after we drank this weird fucking shit that you brought. Yeah, what is it? Damn. What does it say? Does it say anything? It says... Demonis Espiritus? <laughs> here, here. So it says, Demonis Spiritus was a strong poison created in 1630. What? It, it says it kills people. Tamab, which is, it's hell. It brings death, plague, and evil spirits to torment humans and take their souls. Oh my god. <coughs> Here, are you okay? Are you okay? <coughs> It's gonna be fine. Oh my god.
I'm gonna call 911. Where, where's my phone? Get up. Sierra's not there. She's not there. Come on. She's. Joy, are you. What's your deal? Did you hear me? Sierra's gone. Sierra? Sierra, is that you? Are you okay? might be in my shit here. This you having is... a little electrical storm out there? I don't know. Whatever the fuck that is, is not... It's not fucking with me, bro. I wish I was, man. This is not like... Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, wiring issue. Are you good? Are your light's good? I'm chilling, bro. I didn't bro. go to my your computer, did it? No, I don't get any random messages. I sure as hell wouldn't click on it. Yeah, that was maybe not the smartest thing I've ever done, but... Mm. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> There's another one just popped up. Well, you're not gonna click that one. You know me. Deal. Hang tight, bud. Here we go. I'm recording this, I want to redesign and clean up this whole entire house. I bought it from Craigslist. It's sort of a damn mess. But over the next few days, I'm going to clean up and redesign it on how I imagine it. This is going to be some sort of video diary. Whatever. Okay, so on our first stop, this is the living room. <laughs> As you see, I play my Nintendo Switch. And this is the kitchen. And right here, this is the basement. And right here, this is the bathroom. Okay, that was the house tour, guys. As I mentioned earlier, I got it from a website called Craigslist. It might take out all my expenses, but it was worth it. So, whoever's watching this, hello, this is me in my 20s. Anyways, see you later, guys.
Okay. During like the middle of the night, I hear some weird noises. So I don't know what the hell was that. Hello? Is somebody down there? Okay guys, it's time to take out the trash tonight. trash only found this my 
recycling garbage has been tossed around. Are you sure it's not raccoons? What? 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 Raccoon? That just cut out really weird. Doesn't really make sense. What are you receiving? Oh, the fuck! See, Yo, what's going on here, dude? The fuck? I don't know, dude. Yeah, that was that video is really, really fucking weird, man. I don't know if that was like a. You right now? You got those teenagers in your yard? Yo, yo. The fuck is happening, dude? This is shitty as fuck. I'm getting a little bugged out yeah. now. I mean, I know some weird people. This would be a one hell prank. That third one just came in, a third video. I mean, don't click that shit. Okay, good. All right, we're there. <laughs> yeah, we've done it. Okay, okay. I am Dr. Joseph Novin, I'm Doctor of Onerology. I, it is May 4th, uh, this is the first of the uh, video logs for the dream experiment. I have been trying for the past three years to develop a device that will allow us to visualize a dream and record it so that we can better understand what dreams are and, and what they mean. It's taken me so long and I have finally accomplished it. I've done it. I've... Here, this. Okay, so this is part of the uh, Dream Preservation Module, or DPM for short. Now, this, along with some other nodes, will allow the dreams, once attached to the subject's head, uh, it will digitize the images and, and, and the video, the dreams, or whatever that we see in our heads, and, and so that we can upload it to the computer. It wasn't working for the longest time, and I finally discovered it's the placement of the nodes that is the most important. If you're even off by just, just the slightest of margins, you get nothing. But I have finally discovered and finally figured out exactly where the nodes need to be on the head to get the desired results. A breakthrough of this magnitude could push the study of dreams light years ahead of where we are right now. Unfortunately, my colleagues don't agree with my vision. They don't think that any of this is even possible or real or sane for that matter, but I will show them that I am right and that I have done it. I will test the DPM on myself and I will upload the results 
as soon as I figure out what I'm looking at, this is amazing. So I've compiled about a week's worth of dreams, and honestly, I've gotten some very surprising results. There doesn't seem to be anything linear about our dreams, not like what we would think. You know, at first I thought it was just that the DPM wasn't getting it all, like there was a glitch or something, but it doesn't seem to be the case. We've always thought of dreams as being these fully fleshed out narratives, this storyline in our heads, or you know, at least a partial storyline, but we, we know the A to B, but <sighs> dreams are more like snippets. Like a, almost like a, like a picture collage kind of thing, like a montage in an 80s movie. For, uh. And yet, when we wake up, what do we remember? We remember this fully fleshed out narrative. Well, what I think, and obviously I'm going to need a lot more data, but I think that our conscious minds are combining with our subconscious dreams in order to fill in the gaps of those snippets to make this storyline that we can remember when we wake up. I mean, briefly, anyway, but we can't hold on to it because we're focusing so much on the whole story instead of just those little snippets. I don't know, it's like our brains are saying, this is all you need to know, you don't need to know anything else. But I don't know why, it doesn't make sense like that. It's still early. Obviously, I'm going to need more data. <sighs> Alright, so it's been like uh, two months, I think, since we started this, right at it. And, you know, when this first started, my dreams were like what you might expect. I mean, nothing, nothing weird, just... I was in the, my old office, or, or in a coffee shop, or, uh, you know, sometimes I don't know where I was, but in the dream I wasn't lost. Um, you know, it's normal dream stuff, if that, if that makes sense, but, but it's starting to change. Uh, things are getting, like, different, and the last several dreams that I have, uh, they've been predominantly in my own house, and I've had people coming in and out, like, you know, colleagues or friends or uh, family, like my twin brother would be in, in a few of them, but it's like the more that I watch, the more that I review the DPM, the more that I remember what I'm dreaming, the more that that just goes away. And the last dream that I had was, was me, just alone in my house doing nothing it's just weird okay so new development all of my dreams now take place here in the house I'm either sitting at the computer or in front of the camera doing a video log in my dream. I've tried mixing up my routine, changing things up when I'm awake to see if that would change anything, but the dreams just follow suit. Whatever I do when I'm awake, I do when I dream. It's really making it hard to differentiate between the two. The only way I can tell a difference is that there's something, I don't know, it's like a feeling. It's like something is off. Something is askew. It's like sideways. I, I don't know what it is, but I feel like, I don't know, like a presence. Like there's something here. It's like that piece of fuzz that gets in your eye and just right off to the side. You can never bring it into focus, no matter how hard you try. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it has to mean something. I mean, it has to. 
this girl when you find up. I don't know what it is, but I've got to keep going. This will be my last log. I am suspending the project temporarily because that feeling that I had talked about where something was off just enough to where I could differentiate between the real world and the dream. I needed that. I, I had to have that to hold on so that I could see the difference between the two. But it's not working. That feeling is bleeding over into real life. And uh, I'm having such a hard time figuring out which one is which. Is this the real world? I don't know. But if I don't stop this, I mean, just for a little while, then I could lose my mind. I I have not used the DPM in three months, and nothing has changed. Still feels like there's something here with me. Nobody, not my friends, not my family, not my colleagues. Nobody believes me. Oh, they all think that I'm crazy, but I'm not. I'm not crazy. I've unleashed something. I don't know if it's a demon or a poltergeist or whatever it is, but I know this. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. If you're watching this tape, if I'm even making this tape, you have to destroy it. You have to destroy everything. Destroy the, the dreams, the, the, the video dreams. Destroy those. D d destroy the DPM. I can't. Every time that I try, it's like, it's like I'm asleep and nothing happens. I can't figure it out. I don't know what's real anymore. I can't stop this. Listen, dreams, it's where evil lies. Forgetting your dreams, it's the only way, the only way to keep them at bay. It's the only way to stay sane. Something's here. Help me. Just leave me alone. Why like, can't you just leave me alone? Get out! Get out! Stop this! What is this? Where are you? Stop it! What are you doing? Stop this! Please just leave me alone! I can't. What is it? What is that? I can't. I can't. You have to stop. Please. I can't do this. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! All you want from me! You're
Ne? Das Fehl. Aber oh, wie raus das nie starben, wenn wir was nehmen. This shit's weird as fuck. Now what? Now what? You went all clipped out. Why? Your lights are all fucked. What the fuck is. I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? 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 Are you there? What the fuck, man? What the fuck? I gotta fucking call somebody, dude. This is fucked up. My name is Richard Cross. I've been traveling the United States for the last 10 years in search of the paranormal. I've hunted ghosts, demons, monsters, and urban legends. Now I bring my brother Ethan to find the witch of Myerstown, Pennsylvania. So tonight, we want you to come along with us. Because this is Paranormal Adventures. I am your host, Richard Cross, and this is Paranormal Adventures. Today, we are in Myerstown, Pennsylvania to investigate the legend of a witch that lived here in the 17th century. This is the gravestone of founder Michael Meyer. He moved here in the 1600s and tried to start a life here with his family. And he wanted to become a farmer and just live a peaceful life. But one day his daughter was taken from him when she ventured into the woods and never returned. Michael, this is for you. I can't believe we found some random asshole called Michael Meyer right where we need to film him and his family. That's perfect. All right, you, you grab all the equipment, all the cameras and everything? Yeah, I got it. All right, so tonight uh, I'm going to interview the family, and then after that we'll eat, and then we'll go into the woods. Are you actually recording this? Yeah. I'm here with local town historian Debbie Keating to discuss the town's history and the local legend of the Myers Town Witch. Debbie? Wait, a witch? What are you talking about? You said this is a history show. Yeah, I mean, it is, but a lot of it's fictional. I mean, we're just coming up with this whole story of a witch, just for views. Well, I really don't want to do that. Well, how's $20 sound? I, I can just give you $20 and you just make the whole thing up. Let's just keep it about the town. Well, if you just say that the town was formed in 1692, the rest will come up with. Well, that's not true. It was actually founded in... The... Okay, it doesn't matter. This woman's worthless. Mm -hmm. Do I still get my twenty dollars? No, get out of here. Okay. It looks like we did find the witch of Myers Town after all. I'm here with one of the descendants of town founder Michael Meyer. He is going to tell us a little bit about the town, Michael, and what happened to his daughter in the late 1600s. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Meyer. Well, to be honest, I'm not from here. I'm from Missouri, uh, so I don't, I don't know that I can answer your questions. So if I just give you 20 bucks, can you just go along with what we're saying? Sure, I guess. Oh well, yeah, a couple hundred years ago, my family in this town was haunted by a witch. Michael's daughter was found dead in the woods. Is that good? Yeah, it's fine. Truly disturbing stuff here. Nice to talk to you, Mr. Meyer. Alright everyone, the time has come to venture into the woods surrounding Myerstown to find if the legend of the Myerstown witch is real or not. As you guys know, we always record both angles. This is my brother Ethan. Let me take the flashlight from you. All right. So we're going to be in these woods for about 8 to 12 hours. Uh, the woods surrounding the town are bigger than the town itself. The town is only a couple miles long, but the woods are about 30 miles. It's it's pretty big, so we have a lot of ground to cover tonight. Um, and we look forward to seeing your guys' opinions whenever this comes out. As you know, last week we went 
to Point Pleasant, West Virginia to check to see if the legend of the Mothman was real. That was a fun episode. So, we'll see about this witch. I want to go home. Pussy, okay? We're getting paid a lot of money for this. I'm not gonna go broke. Mm -hmm. You know how much money I put into shit? Yeah. I put all my money away. I need this money. Don't fuck it up. Alright, well, we're gonna have to find a way around this waterfall because it's pretty long, but other than that, you know, this episode's going well. We'll see what we can find here in an hour. Alright, everyone, we've been walking for almost two hours and uh, it seems like the temperature's dropped a little bit and it's I don't know. It feels like it's on 40 degrees. We can see our our breath, and uh, yeah, it's getting cold. We're, we found a little split in the path. We're gonna separate and get some footage separately to show you guys, and uh, we'll meet back here in 10 minutes, Ethan. All right. All right. So, yeah, I was interested to see if we can find this witch. This is a little interesting little trail up the stream. Hey guys, it's Ethan. I'm just waiting for Richard on his log. I'm so tired. Oh. Follow that stream for a while, it just kind of doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. It's getting a lot colder. Uh, it's definitely gonna rain here soon, I can feel it. I need to find Ethan. It's getting, it feels like into the 20s. All right, well, this is where I told Ethan to meet me. This is right where we left off. Uh, I don't know where he, he went. Oh, no sign of Ethan. Once again, I can't trust that guy. He goes off on his own, back to the car, and hiding all the time because he's a pussy. Over half an hour, there's no sign of him. Every single time we go somewhere, he just, he, he's too much of a bitch. He can't be in the woods. He can't be in the abandoned house. He can't be in the, the abandoned hospital because it might be haunted. It might be an actual witch in the woods. There's no fucking witch out here. He took the map. Now I have no idea where I'm at. I've lost all direction because I've been walking around in this fucking freezing cold. And my phone isn't turning on, so I can't even call him. I I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna keep walking and I'm gonna get drenched here because I can hear the rain. This is going to be interesting. This is the first time in this show's history that I've ever gone into the woods or any area alone. All right, guys, we've been walking now for four hours. We started this at six o'clock. It's now 10.15. We still haven't seen anything, but I'm hopeful that somewhere out in these woods, there will be some evidence that the witch was here at least at some point. I now think that I'm going to have to start going very deep into the woods because I'm now about five miles in and I haven't seen anything. There's been no evidence of hearing something behind me. I'm not seeing anything. I'm definitely hearing something. I don't know if it's an animal. I don't know. It must have been just an animal. We'll try this again in a little bit. Alright, so we're a couple hours in. The rain has started as expected. It's getting colder, it's expected to get into the negatives, but we're gonna keep going, see if we can find any evidence of any witchcraft in these woods. What am I seeing up ahead? Hmm. Uh, that's odd. And there's crosses sticks tied together. Uh, 
There's four of them. Hopefully, I get paid really nice for this episode because fuck this. It fucking might. What am I saying? I think it is. Holy shit. That's not a rock. Holy fuck. This is a fake. Fucking arms. Come on, phone. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Alright, I gotta get out of here. There's no more fucking around with this. This hole's fucking enormous. Oh, I'm so tired. I wasn't supposed to be out here this long. Alright, everybody. It's been. It has to be a full day of walking, and I still haven't found anything. I have no fucking clue where I'm at. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I fucking quit after this. I don't know how long it's been. I stopped to get a drink in the water. I've waited for probably a half an hour. There's still nothing. My phone won't work. I'm tired. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. It's so cold out. I've been walking for what feels like days. There's been nothing to eat or drink out here. It hasn't turned a day. I don't know what's going on. I'm running out of energy. What is that over there? What am I hearing? Uh, feels like it's like negative. I'm already out here. What is that? It's a fire. There's someone standing over there. Seems actually real. I'm gonna try and get a little bit closer, but I don't know what's going on right now.
what you said. What the fuck is happening? Just making you fucking.